Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of your ad may not be optimized for conversions because we haven't received any activity from your pixel in more than seven days to optimize for conversion, view pixel, email code, and all that. Now, I want to explain to you why this problem happens and how to solve it. The, this particular warning message, what it means is that the conversion event you are trying to optimize is not active. What do I mean? For you to be able to op optimize a conversion event and it will actually work and lead to conversions and your advert will go very well. What you normally have to do is to test it to make sure the event you are optimizing for is active. So it means that if you are optimizing for patches, you should have already tried a purchase action on your website for the event manager, your Facebook event manager, to record that there is a recent purchase so that they know, okay, if someone purchases, they can track the person and they can optimize and show the advert to more people like that who are likely to purchase. That is what the whole thing about this particular message is trying to say. Now, what you have to do is to come, if you come to this particular side, you go to event manager. So you open to the event manager. So when you open to the event manager, you have to come to your where your pixel is. So you go to data sources. As you can see, I have several pixels. So this is the pixel that I am working with that is giving me that problem. So you have to come and test the event and see which of them are active. You will see some are active here. You see, I have page view, view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase is active here. Now you will see purchase is active here, but here it is not showing that it is active. The reason is that I actually just made the purchase event 16 minutes ago. So the system hasn't updated it yet. So it means that in the last one week, there has not been purchase on my website. So because I'm trying to run the advert, that I just took the purchase action just some few minutes ago, I, I did a trial. But because it's just about 16 minutes ago, it hasn't, the system hasn't recorded it yet. It hasn't, re it, it needs to update. And normally it can take between two hours and 48 hours to update it. So the number one reason why you may have this warning message is that your purchase event, even if you actually took a purchase action on your website, it has, the system hasn't updated it yet. So you have to wait for it to update before you continue. Secondly, there are some of you, you haven't, your purchase event is not active at all. It is not even about updating it. It is not active at all. So this is how to solve it. You have to first of all, come and test and see whether the event is working. So in order to know if the event is working, you have to go to your website and for example, copy your landing page link. When you copy the landing page link, you come, you will see, test your event. Okay, test your event. Um, and just so you see, you can clear the activity and retest again. So I want to clear the activity. So you say all activity recorded in your test session will be removed. So I want to clear it and retry again so that you will see how it is. So I've cleared it. So you come here and click on. So you see the second one that says that confirm your website event are set up correctly. So you paste it here, and then open it. You see, so when you go to your website, try to take an action. So I'm trying, I've made the price zero so that I can buy a copy. So I'll click on get now, click on checkout, continue, and I have made a purchase. Now, when you you do, you, you purchase like this, you come back to the event, uh, what do you call it? You come back and check. So you see page view has been recorded, initial checkout has been recorded, purchase has been recorded, add to cart has been recorded. So it means that all the events are working properly. So you can see that all the necessary events I want to check have been recorded. So it means that my purchase event is active. So I can come here and after some time, when it reflects here, I can now um, customize for it. Now, I can now I optimize there. Yeah, I mean, optimize for that particular event. Now, for those of you that when you test here, you see that the event that you want to 
the event you are trying to optimize for is not showing here. It means that it's not actually working. If your event is not showing here, this is what you have to do. So for example, you want to do a purchase event. You can come to the setting. If you want to set a purchase event, you can come to the settings. Okay. Then you will see um, event setup tool. So you click on open event setup tool so that you set the event. So you click here and then open the event setup tool. So if you want to track any event that is not active, for those of you that the event is not properly set up, this is setting up a standard event. So you click on either track new button or track URL. So I want to track URL. So what I would do is I want to track the URL of the purchase. So you have to come, you have to click on get now, click on checkout, click on continue. I, I mean that any particular place that you want to check. So let's say, for example, if I want to test, um, if I want to, if, if initiate checkout is not being recorded and I want to um, uh, optimize for it, I can optimize for it on this particular page. If someone, I, I can even track the button. So for example, I can decide that if someone clicks this continue button, it should be recorded as what? Uh, initiate checkout. I can also decide that I want to get, if someone gets to this particular place, it's a sale. So I can track this particular URL. So how do you do that? You click on track URL. Then you click on select event. So purchase, then the URL. So what you are saying is that track the entire URL or a portion of the URL. So don't, don't click on equals, click on contains if the url contains so if someone buys this particular product it should what uh anything any url that contains um this particular thing in it it should be considered a what a purchase the reason why i don't advise you to choose the con the equals is that if you choose the equals you know the receipt no the ending will vary slightly so if you choose equal to then someone makes a purchase and the receipt is not exactly the same as this, they will still not um, consider it as a purchase. But if you choose the contains, it means that anything that contains a receipt in it, but the other letters may not exactly be the same, but it contains the receipt in it, it is a purchase. So they will include it as a purchase. So when you click on that, because I have already set up my purchase, I don't want to set it up for, uh, I don't want to set up another one, but what I should have done is after choosing the contents, I'll just click on confirm. And then when I click on confirm, I'll click on finish setup and it will be done. You know, my purchase is set up like that. You can follow the same procedure and set the, all the other events like add to card, initiate checkout, add payment info, add to wish list, and all that. You can set up all those other events and it will work properly for you. If you follow this procedure, you're supposed to get it done. If, if you track after that, you click on finish setup. Okay, because I'm not doing it, that's why I didn't finish it up. Yes, if you follow this procedure and you are not getting effective result, please, most of you, I know you are facing problems like this. You try to set up advert, conversion advert, and you, run, you, you waste a lot of money. You don't see the result you are looking for. Please, don't waste your money. Give it to the expert who understand how to do it, and we do it for you. So what you have to do is, we, I have left a link in the description, WhatsApp and Telegram link. You can follow any of them to contact us on WhatsApp or Telegram. But I must say that we are more responsive on WhatsApp. Follow it. WhatsApp us. We will help you get a solution. You, we, you, we charge to do that for you. But our charges are affordable. And we can run effective ad campaigns that will give you the results that you are looking for. Thank you once again for watching. And remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell for other more powerful videos like this. Once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.